Hey Libra, what's up, what's good, what's happening? Welcome in, welcome back. This is going to be a general message for Libra or the Cross Watcher, anybody that was drawn here. Take what fits, leave what doesn't. If none of this hits home, just try a different message or a different reader. I won't be offended. I'm going to do a full Celtic Cross spread with the Naked Heart Tarot. See what comes out. And then I'm going to close with an Oracle, possibly. I'll announce which one if and when I choose. All right, let's see. Current energy for Libra. Thank you, Spirit. Current energy for Libra. Four of Pentacles. Holding back or saving up? I'm getting that you're a keeper. I already knew that. <laughs> you're a keeper, Libra. All right, what's um what's incoming? Mm. So this is the bonus card in this deck, the Naked Heart, and it speaks of authenticity. And for those of you that might be new or may have missed the other readings where I talked about authenticity, um. A lot of people think that love is the highest vibration. Authenticity is four times, four times that of love. Um, and this is incoming. So, <laughs> I feel like you are fully aware that you have a lot to give, but you're not just going to give it to anybody. I think you've done that in the past and it's bit you in the butt and we're not doing that anymore. Okay. But I am definitely feeling that maybe somebody else is viewing you this way as well. Um, this is for somebody that's in a relationship. Uh, this part of the message. I don't want to do it again. Don't There's a proposal coming up for somebody. Um, I'm also getting that you might think it's soon, but is it? Because when you know, you know. That is for somebody so very specific. It's going to feel like a personal reading because that part was. Back to the you are holding on to your authenticity. You're holding on to um, like you know who you are. And I feel like other people might think that you're the villain so let them like, you know who you are and the people that are open enough to actually see you for who you are, they'll see you. They'll see you. The rest will come up with their assumptions and that's fine. <laughs> like you don't care. You are so very truly unbothered by that because you are keeping to yourself. You're focused on self, you know, and not everybody's going to get down with that. And that's fine. I think that you're aware that there are certain aspects of life that you just have higher standards than some other people you have more morals and values like you hold yourself more responsible in certain aspects of life than other people do and like you're just you're very very self-aware is what I'm trying to say I'm so sorry that was a lot of words <laughs> in your foundation we have the movement of pentacles and the nine of wands so you've been stagnant for a moment huh working on healing Working on that self-love, working on that self-value. Some of you guys may have been a little bit pinched for finances. That is about to shift. I don't know how yet. I'll get ideas here in a moment. Um, but that's about to shift. I'm, I'm getting, I've never gotten this before with the nine of wands. Um, but the wand that he's uh, got most of his body weight on, I feel like it's going to give. I feel like it's going to fall. But I also feel like he's going to laugh his ass off because it's funny. You know, it's almost like we're just kind of stagnant, hanging around, doing our thing. Um, and something, you know, something's going to be funny. Something, something is funny. I don't know. <laughs> Why? Why is that funny? You're falling. Um, 
you're falling. Okay, no, this is a love reading, isn't it? I'm really trying to do <laughs> self readings, but this is turning into a love reading. Somebody knows that you want to move slow because you're hurt, you're wounded, you've been through some stuff. They have too, but when you know, you know. You know, okay, if I'm going to be 100% honest, which is exactly what this channel is, truth be told, this person is more ready than you are, but you are also ready. I just don't know if you've actually thought about it. You're assuming that you're you're not ready for that but it like when the moment presents itself you're like oh my god yeah I can't believe I'm doing this but yes because it feels so right <laughs> all right re <gasps> first thing I heard is someone's been ring shopping <gasps> that's why they had to stay late at work or that's why they had to go visit their sibling or some shit, right? Like they were actually buying time because they were, it could be other gifts coming in right now. Like there's definitely some kind of gift giving. I'm definitely getting planning and um, this person's planning a surprise. I don't want to ruin it. I mean, I did already say ring shopping, right? So I already ruined another engagement. Ruined so many of those. I'm so sorry, you guys. <laughs> I remember once upon a time, I was going to make a chalkboard or some kind of board so I could keep tally of how many, <laughs> how many proposals and, and pregnancies I've announced. Um, yeah, justice at the bottom of the deck. No, somebody really wants to like... I, I think you guys do each other justice, too, just being, you know, honest. But this talks about legal and paperwork and official, and so does the Ace of Pentacles. This talks about documents and contracts. So, I mean, that's the whole marriage contract, right? Um, you know you're a keeper. Maybe you've just been waiting for somebody to come in and actually see that, recognize that, want that, too. I don't know. Six of Cups. Six of Cups. Is, oh, my gosh. Universe Tower. I should have known I was going to see the tower. This whole rating, I've been gasping for air. <laughs> you were not expecting all this. I, You know, neither was I. It's in the air. It's just how this rating is. We weren't expecting all this. Goodness gravy, Libra. I'm hearing perfect size, perfect fit. I don't know if that's like the ring or the dress or what, but something this perfect size, perfect fit. Oh, when they hold you in their arms. Libra. In the near future, we have the Six of Swords. This person is coming towards you and they want to have a very soul depth conversation with you. I'm hearing success, victory, recognition, reward. I'm hearing yes. Yes. Oh, my God. Somebody's actually getting a proposal. Ah! Ah! It's kind of weird because, like, I'm somebody who's given up on love for a long time, but I still believe it. I still know it's real. I still know, you know. And so I get so fucking giddy when I see it happen for somebody. I'm like, fuck yeah, man. Another win, right? Just because it's not mine doesn't mean I can't be happy for you guys. And believe me, I am very fucking happy for you guys. And this right here, actually, part of why I'm so happy for you is because it keeps that faith alive for me too. You know? It keeps the rest of us on our toes like, okay, maybe. <laughs> Fears, worries, concerns, if any, for Libra here. Thank you. The Hermit. Ooh. You ready to come out and play? You ready to come out of that shell? Hmm? All work and no play makes for a dull Libra. I'm just saying. 
Somebody wants you to come out of being single. Somebody wants you to, to, to mm, for both of you to come out of just dating. Somebody, like there's, somebody wants to know. You're ready to size up. That's what I'm hearing, size up, which is all about expansion. But this is also that soul depth conversation that somebody wants to have. So they're nervous to have, well, duh. Everybody is scared of rejection. Come the fuck on. That's like saying that I was a child that wasn't scared of the dark. You're lying through your teeth. <laughs> every child has been scared of the dark at some point, just like every human being on the planet, regardless of age, race, gender. It's like nature. She don't give a fuck who you are. The tornado's going where it's going. You know, everyone is scared of rejection, period. That's totally normal for that to be there. I ain't even worried about it. Today's coffee is brought to you by I'm Too Magical for Your Bullshit with a unicorn shitting a rainbow because that is the thing that we have better to do. <laughs> oh my God. Cheers. 11 11. I just cheers you at 11 11 to the chariot and a unicorn. I just, you know what? Actually, just seeing a rainbow. Is confirmation. That's how fucking powerful rainbow is. Uh, same with feathers. Just seeing a feather, that's confirmation alone. It doesn't matter how you see it, where you see it, doesn't matter. If the book you're reading has a feather on it, every day you look at that book and you see that feather, there it is again. Another confirmation, another sign. Even if you're doing it on purpose, it does not matter. Rainbow. Ooh, turtle's got a rainbow on him. I love turtles. They're so cool. I actually had turtles and I was surprised at how much of a personality they can have. Like they followed me around. Oh my God. I love them. How the universe is viewing you as the star, but this is also someone else viewing you as their wish fulfillment. Oh, maybe somebody knows God sent you to for each other. Maybe you tried to fight it. Like how I tried to fight this being a love reading. But like. Your soul is called. Look at that. You have the hermit underneath the star on the table. Like this is your soul calling. This is your soul calling. Destiny, fate. Like. It, yeah. I can't, I can't with how blatantly obvious this reading is. You are someone's wish fulfillment and they are yours too. This is balanced and you know it because that's in your mind space. You know it's balanced. You know it's equal. You know you guys do each other justice. You know this connection is a victory, is, is, uh, uh, listen to the wind. The universe is literally telling you, yes. Ask the wind a question. If it blows, yes. The harder it blows, yes. If it doesn't blow or stops blowing, it's a no. The universe is giving you a hard pass. <laughs> Don't do that. We do not condone that behavior. Oops, sorry. It's because I said that. Anyways, um, goal. What is the goal? Please and thank you. Temperance. Balance. You know, and maybe you'd been going through some things because you had waited so long for this to come in. Hermit, Six of Swords, Turtle, Energy. Yeah, but it was worth the wait, wasn't it? Fucking yes, it was. Holy shit, it's the Emperor. Boss moves. The Emperor makes boss moves when he shows up, and this is in the goal. Someone's goal is to make a boss move. They're terrified of the rejection, but they're going for it. And hearing this, you might feel really nervous, like I'm not ready. But I am telling you in the moment, like we all assume if so-and-so showed up at my doorstep, I'd do this, that, and the other. But then watch them show up and you not do that and you actually do something else. You know what I mean? Like sometimes you don't know until you're in the moment. This is one of them. The fucking emperor is conquering a fear and ready to sign contracts. 
The devil's also about promises. It's not always a bad card, especially when you don't have another bad card out here. Nah, this is about contracts, promises that need to be kept because your soul made an agreement before you came down here. Hold on a minute. Temperance and the star are angels. Oh, this is a power couple. This is an angelic relationship. There's a divine protection over this. Y'all don't need physical protection because there's divine protection here. And there's this deep knowing, just knowing this is my fish. Wish You Were Here by Pink Floyd. Could be important. Moment of Wands. It's coming. It's coming. And it's coming in with deep passion, intense desire. Oh, man. I don't know if you can fathom. And y'all are probably rolling your eyes at me. I don't even give a shit because this is really happening. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You're probably rolling your eyes. But this is happening because it's been meant to happen. The king and queen of cups. With the family tree. They're so nervous. <laughs> They're so nervous. This person is probably shaking. The king and queen. The spirit and heart of cups. Back by the king of pentacles. <laughs> Are you ready? Some of you, some of you are also internally conflicted because you're like, I don't think I am. I don't think I am. And then it happens and you're like, okay, yes, I'll marry you. You're so fucking cute, Libra. <laughs> and the queen of swords, it just keeps coming. Kings and queens and like you're, you're nine of cups. Wish fulfillment. The star is also out here. Both of the wish fulfillments. I can feel somebody welling up with tears. <laughs> I can feel the tears. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Oh my gosh. I, it's wow. And to think yesterday I had a reading where I was so lost. <laughs> my goodness. Maybe that person was confused on which ring they should get and they were overwhelmed and that's why I was confused. Because the energy was all over the place and I'm trying to read it while it's chaotic. That would actually make a lot of sense why I'd be confused. Sorry, I'm just gabbing while I choose. We're going to go with Whispers of Love. It's just too perfect. It's too perfect. This is the one we're going to pull from. <clears throat> Miracles and Blessings. Be Authentic. I, you know... That sums up the whole damn thing. As long as you're authentic, boom. Blessings in the form of love, like real, real love. An upgrade in the love that you already have for those of you that are, most of you already have it. I really feel like this is a proposal. But it could be a, let's put a title on it, let's move in together. It could be all of that shit, right? It could be all of that. But for whoever I'm really channeling, Somebody's going to pop the question and ask you if you will be their forever person. I literally just heard, will you be my penguin? Oh, swan. Oh, they're naming off animals that mate for life. And in, and in Be Authentic, the woman is dressed as a swan. Holy shit. This is an intense message, you guys. Speak the language of love. Loving words have the power to change lives, including your own. So I'm getting there is going to be a really beautiful speech that they give you right before they ask the question. And if you look here, somebody is holding something in front of another. I just, I can't make it up. Libra, I am so fucking happy for you. Congratulations. And I'm not the reader that's going to expect a wedding invitation from you. Okay, I'm not going to do that to you. It's okay. <laughs> Every time I see a reading like this, 
and it's been a long time. They're always like, I'll get my invitation. Demonstrate love. That's what they're doing. Oh my God. <laughs> Find out what is important to those you love and act on it. They're trying to make this perfect. They're trying to make this perfect. Love endures. Love does not give up or lose faith. Love is hopeful and withstands every situation. I am going to leave it right there, Libra. Was not expecting that, but I am truly glad that I got to give a happy message. <laughs> so often I, I have us take such a hard, deep look at ourselves that, you know, they're difficult messages. And, and this was not that at all. So thank you for letting me do this for you. <clears throat> and congratulations. Oh, I am going to leave this here. And I hope that this helps who it needs to. And whoever's asking, yes, they are going to be loyal and faithful. It's the king of pentacles. He's fiercely loyal. Fiercely loyal. <laughs> Actually, so is the queen of swords that, the, that he's looking at. So anyways, I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, mwah. stay beautiful.